Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amisha Lydia Abisola and if this is your first time, welcome, yeah. And if you are not subscribed yet, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So today, we're going to be talking about love languages. But this time, we're going to be talking about in the aspect of showing it to yourself. Like, you know, primarily, how do you practice your love language on yourself? Because um, I'm sure that this is like something that many of us are already like familiar with. Like, I mean, it's a topic that is not new. And if you're wondering if you've not heard about it, let me just put it out there and say that, okay, the five love languages um, was by Gary Chapman and there are ways in which it actually shows how you prefer or how you love to be loved. Actually like um, practice your love language on yourself. So let's get right into the video already. So like I said, there are five of them and they are words of affirmation, they are um, gifts, physical touch, acts of service, and and quality time. For those in a relationship or for those that are married, you, are, you have heard it in the concept of how you should know your partner's love language so that you can love them the way they want to be loved. And you know, it just like brings about so much um, peace and honor, respect and all that good stuff. So talking about words of affirmation, this is actually the love language that you know, when you like to say positive mantras, you like to, um, to you know, you like people to say, oh, you're beautiful, you look nice, you look lovely. It's, it's very, um, it's not something that you cannot practice on yourself as well. If it is your love language, if words of affirmation is your love language, you have a few tips or yeah, a few ways you can practice this on yourself. First, look into the mirror. Like I like to say this, this is cliche, but it is the truth. And I do this like a lot. So look into the mirror, admire yourself, Speak positive mantra daily. Speak positive things about your strengths, about your qualities. Look at yourself in the mirror and, you know, just admire yourself. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're smart. Oh, you're strong. Speak daily affirmations. You could even record yourself speaking daily affirmations. I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm intelligent. I am um, supportive. Whatever. Just, you know, speak things that actually makes your heart feel glad. And, you know, if this is your primary love language, if you can do this for yourself, you'll be so glad that that you do that at the end of the day you know try write yourself a love letter admire your qualities and um, talk about yourself and you know just do all that good stuff another thing to do is to avoid toxic people people that make you feel bad or a community that pulls you down please stay away from them because they're not going to help you feel loved and it's just going to you know pull you down so if you know that words of affirmation i mean Technically, I believe that everybody likes to be admired or likes to, you know, be told they're beautiful, they look nice, be complimented generally. So, but if this is your primary love language, then please avoid people who are toxic. I think everybody should avoid toxic people. And if you are toxic yourself, I think you should change. Another love language is quality time. This is one very beautiful love language for um, people who like their... People who I would say that um, they are introverts and all that good stuff. This is something that is maybe even common with them, but not only to them. I'm just saying. So quality time. Here is how you can actually love yourself. If quality time is your primary love language, please take a time to. Uh, so you don't have to necessarily be doing anything or other, but you can just be on your bed or be resting and you know just enjoying your me time. Create a time for yourself on your calendar or your schedule for the day, even if it's 30 minutes or an hour as much as you like just that moment when you're with yourself reflecting you can even go out take a walk and gaze at the sky and, you know just enjoy the beauty of nature you know just just create that schedule or create that time to enjoy your me time or to enjoy yourself it's very important on social media you could also like try to be off the media for a while it's it's actually a good habit it helps you to reflect it helps you to find time to do other things that are different from you know um just just um just being on the media it just helps you create time to reflect and all that good stuff so try to um take time off the media and try to you know you could even netflix and chill just on your own you know you're you're allowed the opportunity to reflect to meditate to think about yourself and enjoy your meet your uh, me time okay the next one is act of service this is Something that people would you would normally think um, this is a love language that you normally think oh this can only be done by someone else. I mean acts of service is when someone is helping you do those things and relieving your stress. You know they are just you know out of thoughtfulness. They are helping you you know do your chores or do something you know basically to relieve you of stress and it just makes you happy. And um, you're wondering how can 
if act of service is my primary love language how can i practice this on myself or how can i express this with myself and you know there are a few ways you can do that actually so make a list of the tasks that you know that these ones are very strenuous and you know they make you stressed out and all that stuff and then try to take them bit by bit and as you're doing them just take them off the list now once you're done doing that you kind of feel refreshed you kind of feel like okay I'm good now because I have done like what I need to do but primarily I would just suggest that you make a to-do list of those activity that you think okay they're stressful and I have to do it and all that stuff and then try to do it bit by bit one by one and you know and if you can't why not if you can't get someone to do it for you please like something for yourself okay see that uh, another love language is gifts now the love language of gifts is basically um about receiving and giving gifts so if you if you think if your primary love language is actually gifts you love to be gifted stuff or you love to give people stuff then here is how you can practice this on yourself first off write a list of the things that you need to get for yourself or you think you really need and you know what plan prepare and you know save up to get yourself those things now the mere idea or the mere practice of putting those things down as things you need to get for you for yourself is an act of love it's an act of sincere love towards yourself because you know that oh, you're working towards doing that and it's just so beautiful and i think this is one that i practice like for myself a lot because like i mean i love i love to give to myself stuff it just generally makes me happy to be honest so i kind of like write out things i need to get and then work towards it i save up and do all that good stuff for it and then once i'm getting it i'm excited and it's not like i mind do it even if i if someone else gets this from me i mean that's even a plus but i always try to get myself like gift i always try to buy myself something to appreciate myself and you know it just lifts my spirit up you just can take a vacation go on a dinner date with yourself you don't have to go with anybody like go to the cinema you know just plan for all of these things go to the spa give yourself like a good manicure and pedicure just do it whatever it is just do it and you know give to yourself that one thing that you've always desired you can always plan towards it and give to yourself like it's just so beautiful it's one thing you can even do i asked someone to clean your house when i said this i'm like okay that is actually a gift many you know how cleaning is one job that many of us find like ugh, taxing and stuff so if you hire someone to clean your space it kind of gives you this um relaxing moments and you feel refreshed and you feel good like you feel less stressed out okay so that's something you can actually um do if you are a student or you are yeah if you're a student i always like to say this like put yourself in your budget put yourself in your financial plan i always did it that like once i'm done with my exam i always make sure that i go out to like get myself like special meals something i would not buy like on a normal day i just like save up my money that after exam this particular money i'm spending it on food and relaxing that's because a girl cannot come and do what kill herself and the last one is physical touch and i know you're probably wondering well this one obviously needs somebody else but that's not the truth you don't actually need another person to be able to you know practice this primary love language of yes on yourself and here are a few ways you can actually do so if physical touch is your primary love language uh love language uh cuddling have you tried giving yourself a hug just like mm -hmm. or you know just patting yourself give yourself a massage trees go to the spa let them like massage your body and feel refreshed and feel good but create for yourself a skincare routine where you just take care of your face you know put the mask on turn your face scrub all of these things are really relaxing and they are very very refreshing another is long shower my dear i love long showers like take a bubble bath do whatever it is just like to enjoy yourself to relax your body and to make you feel refreshed so this is something that you can actually do for yourself without like anybody and it is like often said that this love languages you might have two of them um two might be dominant for you three might be might even be all for me i would say like i love all the love languages and they all apply to me like rush but yeah of course there are some that i consider like in the order of preference anyways and i can both i can actually say that i practice like all of these things and myself i practice like all the love languages on myself i give myself stuff i tell myself i'm beautiful look myself in the mirror and be like girl you are i know like i'm intelligent i am what 
I am beautiful. And, you know, I just tell myself beautiful stuff. So it makes me very excited because I know I am. And I'm made in God's image, of course. So, yeah, what's not to be proud of? And, you know, act of service, I legitly help myself. So I make it to do list, do what I got to do for the day and um, take it off the list. So I don't need to wait on somebody else to love me before I can love myself. I mean, it's loving myself first. So I got to love myself. I got to show myself how to do it. So if anybody is going to love me even better, then it has to be, it has to come from the perspective that I have loved myself. So I don't know if this um, explains or makes sense to you. So you have to love yourself enough to know that you are enough. You have to love yourself enough to know that you don't need to wait on somebody before all of these things can be expressed. Like, girl, you're all it takes. So yeah, for those of you in a relationship, I would just say that you should um, know your partner's love language and, you know, love them the way they want to be loved. This has saved a lot of, the, this has saved a lot of family stress, problem, breakups, disagreements, conflicts, and what have you. So if you know them the way they want to be loved, or know their love languages you would not be wasting your effort and you will not be um you know you not be thinking oh you're putting so much effort into something you're trying to make them happy and they're not like find out communicate it discuss it it just saves you a lot of stress and all that good stuff so and with that i've come to the end of this video i hope that you have learned something new i hope that you're gonna be practicing all of these things on yourself and choose which is your love language i'm sure you probably already know it so just practice it on yourself as you go along this week this month and this year and valentine is coming hey this video is going to probably be out on valentine's day so please don't kill yourself if you don't have a boo you are your boo and your b So don't stress you can love up on yourself so it's a day of love they say so but we love you every day but yeah that's it we've come to the end of this video thank you for staying to the very end and i'll see you guys until then if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so right now thank you click on the subscribe button and i'll see you bye